tracks in Soundtrap. First, we want to show you some things that are good to know about the composition area and tracks. So this is the composition area, which is the place you will find everything you've recorded so far. This is the composition header, with a timeline that indicates the beats and the bars of the project. And here is the playhead. The playhead moves through the project when you press play. I will never give up my fight and I will always you can also drag it to the parts of the song where you want to listen or start recording. Over here is the grid menu. First, we have the Snap to Grid. When Snap to Grid is on, the playhead automatically snaps to the nearest beat or subdivision. If you click it again, you will turn it off and allow the playhead to move freely. If you click the next button, you will find the grid settings, where you can choose if you want 3x4 or 4x4 as your time signature. You can also set the grid size which decides which subdivision you will see on the ruler and which beat or subdivision the playhead will snap to. To be able to see the subdivisions, you'll have to zoom in to make your bars larger on your screen. To zoom in or out, you can use these two magnifying glasses or press Alt and scroll on your mouse wheel. Back to the grid menu. On the far right, you have the cycle mode button. If you click here, the cycle marker appears. The cycle marker makes it possible to play back a given set of bars or beats over and over again. Just drag the left or right handle to make the cycle longer or shorter. Click and hold to move it around. When you're done cycling, just click the cycle mode button or the cycle marker again. Okay, now we said everything you need to know about the composition area. Let's just repeat the expressions one more time to help you remember until the next time. Composition area, composition header, beats, bars, playhead, Snap to grid and cycle mode. Now let's move on to the tracks. Sometimes people refer to a whole project when talking about a track. But to be specific, these are the actual tracks. Individual instrument tracks that together make a song. On the far left in the studio, you'll find the track list with a track header to every individual track. Each track header has a record mode button, a volume knob, solo and mute buttons, and an automation button. When you want to record something, you'll have to click on the record mode button on the track before you start. This knob sets the volume for the whole track. With solo and mute, you decide which track you want to hear or not hear. If you feel like something is missing while listening to your project, make sure you didn't accidentally click on one of these buttons. Automation lets you decide where on a track you want to adjust your volume, your panning or sweeping over the course of a song. In the upper right corner of every track header, you'll find the track menu, where you can rename, duplicate, or delete a track. So, a summary of the track section. Track list, track header, track menu, record mode, volume, solo, mute, and automation. In this project, we're gonna use some of the tools that we've shown you today. Right now is my highlight